Here is our small server farm. It's a, it's a shed. You can see the yellow cables are 120, the orange cables are 240, that black cable is a spare ethernet cable for future use. Um, we have a, a very typical two-layered six and six design uh, for uh, basically just for density. You can see the MSI motherboard, single sticker RAM, also you can see your M.2. SSD only 16 gigs. Everything's running Linux. Uh, here you can see your server power supply. The most of these are on uh, two power supplies. It's, that particular one is 2400 watts, which is totally overkill. But they get a little loud, so I decided to um, reduce the load because in the summer it gets a little warm. This uh, is an EVGA power supply, platinum as well, uh, 750 watts, works great. The idea is that that is powering all the risers along with the motherboard, and I've had a lot of success with that. Uh, here's another one, has a slightly different stick of RAM, was purchased at a different time. Um, just to zoom out a little bit, using my cell phone here, you can see four layers. So that's four rigs per shelf. There are four shelves for a total of 192 GPUs. I have an additional fan there just kind of helping that particular area. It gets a little warm. Just kind of force more air. Um, Airflow is an important thing when you're dealing with this many GPUs. We have industrial steel grating. So the idea is that the fresh air comes from underneath and you can also see a little bit of cold water. We had some rain yesterday. Um, and the air exits through these box fans. The box fans are installed into the walls of the shed in between the studs. They're 20 inch studs uh, by design. Um, you can see we also let's see, we have the roof is insulated. All the walls are insulated except for a couple, which is uh, on the to-do list. Um, I have a little rig that I use for, really doesn't do anything, but it is mining. It's here for when I need it. Here's our power distribution. Well, that's not good. Uh, so we have 225 amp service dedicated for the shed. Each each PDU is running on a 30 amp circuit. The lights are on, lights and fans are on a separate circuit. You can see it got a little quiet. Fans are spinning down. I have a switch, so 100 megabit switch. Uh, Ethernet cables go into my house. Spare Ethernet cable for the future. Uh, what else is there to say? It's a custom frame. Uh, they're nearly all identical. Um, you can see here that one's missing a GPU. It's on my test bed upstairs in my house. Uh, I don't know if it's a bad riser. Could be. Uh, bad settings. Um, I also have another one removed over here. So let's figure as far as rig names, they're just named rig 1 through 16. Um, these particular ones over here, these GPUs have some problems I never really replaced. This is one of the mining GPUs I don't like. Uh, you can see the old riser. I believe it was the problem with the riser and I never did put it in a permanent place. Um, what's to say? We also have a, uh, we have two watchdogs. Uh, this came from a guy out in Poland. So really great piece of hardware. They handle eight each. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, I can tell you later. But they're hardwired directly 
into, uh, it's actually a custom cable here, this phone cable, and there's a little adapter on the end. It's hardwired directly into the motherboard. Here you can see the power switch right over there. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's these little, little wires of focus. Uh, so each, each rig has 12 GPUs, as I said, and you can see over there in the corner, there's a port multiplier. That allows you, uh, on certain motherboards, this one, to increase your GPU density. Uh, occasionally, there's a little minor issue getting it to detect, and you just kind of swap a port, but other than that, uh, there's nothing really, uh, nothing really to say. If you guys enjoyed the video, 